Tig here again. In today's video, I'm responding to a subscriber request on the channel and testing the Just Done Humanizer. Just Done say that their humanizer can make writing appear more natural and offer other features to subscribers. I hope their tool isn't as effective as the homepage on their website where none of the answers to frequently asked questions can be read. They say their tool can bypass AI detectors, though they don't specify which detectors. They offer three plans, an unlimited plan for £19.99 a month, an unlimited monthly plan for £30.99 a month, and seven days of access for 99 pence. Must remember to cancel the account after I make this video, as they'll bill me £39.99 a month if I don't. After you pay your 99 pence, you are immediately offered extra words for extra money and you're asked some questions about how you plan to use the tool. I'm saying that I'm a student and my native language is English. Though they offer many languages to users, I'm not going to lie, I'm not even aware of some of these. I then enter my experience with other AI tools. I'm going to say that this is profound. They want me to install a just done application and browser add-on, but I'm going to stick to the website. We then get to a page where they present their most popular tools. We've got a chatbot, a plagiarism scanner, a humanizer, which is the one that we're going to focus on, an AI detector, a paraphraser, a long article generator, a feature where you can discuss an uploaded file with AI, and a grammar checker. Wow, lots of interesting looking features, but are they any good? And can we use this tool to create humanized text that will bypass Turnitin and originality. But first, if you've got a humanizer, spinner, or so-called undetectable tool that you'd like me to test on the channel, or you have any questions about AI in higher education, let me know in the comments. Please like this video, subscribe, and share this video or any other video on the channel to help it grow. I'd really appreciate it. Their humanizer says that it replaces text with that which is less likely to be flagged by AI detectors, has great readability, and adds emotion to the writing to suggest it was written by a human. They also let users know that humanizers can produce unusual results or errors to pass AI detectors. But first, as we've got access to a long article generator, it would be wasteful not to use it. And yes, I know, it says articles of 1200 words plus, but I want to take it for a test drive. With this tool, we're asked to enter the chosen topic for the article. I say that I want a 1000 word essay about the impact of humanizers on universities, and I'd like citations to academic work to support the claims and statements that it makes. Sadly, I've only got a 200 character word limit to describe what I'm looking for, so I'll have to delete some of my instructions. Just Done then gives me an outline, which I approve, and it generates an essay for me in about two minutes. I'll save this as a PDF and try to create a better article with citations next. Let's go again with better instructions to write another essay. When it shows me the outline, I don't see a section with a reference list, so I regenerate the outline. Still don't see it. Maybe they don't include that in the outline. We'll save this version of the essay, which has some markup code for some reason. I didn't ask for that or want it, and it's not immediately obvious how to get rid of it. We'll save it as a PDF, and for some reason, it's got reference lists at the end of every section. Great, that's what we don't want. We'll try one more time to give the dang thing instructions about wanting in-text citations, as well as we can with such a limited topic word count. Blah blah blah, off it goes again with another article with markup. Looks ugly, and again we've got citations at the end of every section. Oh brother. Now we've got three essays written by Just Done. Let's use Just Done's AI detector to see what scores these essays get. Ugh, I can't run AI detection on the articles as it can't read the text in the PDFs. Basically, the PDFs are like an image that you can't copy text from to test the text in any way. This is really annoying, but we'll have to generate another article and save it as text and not a PDF this time. We'll use the just done AI detector on the text and it says it's 91% likely AI. It's not humanizing it for some reason. I'm well below the permitted word count, as you can see, meaning that this is just a defective website. Actually, I think it's trying to get me to buy more words. Lousy mean just done is trying to rinse me. After we delete some of the text, it will let us humanize it, even though I'm way under the permitted word count. And it says the output is 90% human. 
Now's the perfect time to test these documents with Turnitin and Originality to see what AI scores we get. For the Article Generator Tool essay, we get a score of 100%, likely AI. Higher even than the 90% AI score just done gave its own work. For the humanized version of the essay, we get a score of 66%, much worse than the 90% human score Just Done gave itself. In fact, it looks like Just Done is pretty much useless. For the article generator version with the less sensitive of Originality's two AI detectors, the Light Detector, we get a score of 100%. And though there's almost no point in doing this, with a more sensitive turbo detector, we also get a 100% likely AI score. With the just done humanized text that claims it's 90% human, we get a 75% AI score with light and a 100% likely AI score with turbo. For our final test, we're going to get ChatGPT to write a 1000 word essay on humanizers in higher education it's a breath of fresh air to be using an AI tool that will actually do what you ask. After that, we'll test the humanized text and I'll comment on its quality. Look at ChatGPT go. The in-house just done AI detector says the ChatGPT essay is 77% likely AI. Let's humanize it, save our document and test using Turnitin. For the ChatGPT essay, predictably, 100% is flagged as likely AI generated, essentially every word in long form prose. The just done humanized version gets an AI score of something between 1 and 19%, but Turnitin won't say for fear of falsely flagging parts of the writing as AI generated when they were not. With originality, the ChatGPT version gets an AI score of 100%. I'm not going to bother with the turbo detector here. The humanized version gets an AI score of 61% with originality light detector and a 67% with the more sensitive turbo detector. And is that some Chinese characters that found their way into the text somehow? Let's examine the quality of the essay generator's writing. The humanized version of that same text and the humanized version of the ChatGPT essay. The essay generator essay is garbage. It's quite honestly pointless, waffly nonsense that doesn't once accurately define what an AI humanizer is or provide a single way the tools of this nature are impacting on higher education. The quality of the writing is fine, but it's very repetitive and boring to read, and it said nothing interesting or of substance. It was painful to read the same points over and over again. Let's check whether any of the citations it used actually exist and whether they support the points being made. As there are numerous reference lists, I'm going to paste all the citations into this document and check whether they are real one by one. Out of the 25 citations, only four are real and referenced correctly. Four are questionable with major issues with their correctness. 17 don't exist and for me, that's an instant fail for this essay. You can't use fake citations to support what you're saying in academic work. In fact, it's academic misconduct and could result in disciplinary action from your university if you were to do it. Of the real citations, it's about 50-50 with regard to whether they support the point being made with them. It's highly questionable with two. For the just done humanized version of the same essay, sentences end with commas instead of full stops. There are random brackets in the text some weird phrasing, humanizers can influence faculty and teaching very much. Overall, it's okay, though it's a humanized version of a whole lot of nothing with fake citations. Let's have a quick look at the ChatGPT essay. At least the ChatGPT version knows what an AI humanizer is. The essay is okay, it doesn't say much and isn't very insightful. Let's check out whether the references actually exist. And no, not a single citation in this essay is real, meaning it would be another instant fail and likely an academic misconduct. Students out there, you can do better work than any chatbot. Check out the video linked on screen now if you want guidance on how to use Gen AI without worrying about accusations of cheating. Finally, let's check out the humanized version of this essay. We've got some very odd phrasing. We, in this space. Have something new called humanizers for AI. Tools used to dress up AI into something that looks like it was created by people. Dress up AI. Lol. We've got multiple spaces between words. Peer organizations when just referring to a student's classmates. Nonsense. 
For some reason, ethics and policy implications is capitalized in the humanized text. And now we've got to the Chinese characters that just done added to the humanized text. Turns out they mean great tool for verification. Okay, time to cancel my account with just done. It's basically useless. Look at this crying cat trying to get me to change my mind. The website is defective and really difficult to use. The AI detector is totally inaccurate. The essay tool is hard to use and awful quality. The humanized text isn't good, doesn't get 0% AI scores, and may include Chinese characters. Critically, just done is terrible value for money. I'm going to recommend that you avoid this one like the plague. If you made it to the end, you know what I'm going to say. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any requests or questions, let me know in the comments. I'll see you again in the next video.